Hey everybody. So, what I made up for dinner is Bombay potatoes and chicken. And I've got some really nice, good, spicy salsa and some organic corn chips. Got an orange blossom beer. It's pretty easy to make. Um, the chicken was already shredded, so I didn't have to worry about doing that out here. Throw in the Bombay potatoes. Very healthy. I get them at Sprouts. It's a great way to uh, make a nice meal without having a whole lot of work. I've also got uh, a couple of bagged salads and things like that. My Subaru Outback has been getting some exposure. There was an article about it in Expedition Portal which is um, an online forum owned by Overland Journal magazine. And since that time, I've seen an awful lot of social engagement having to do with Four Expedition. And uh, just this past week, I got an inquiry from the editor-in-chief of Subaru of Russia magazine, which is the official magazine for Subaru in Russia. And they'd like to do a story on me and my Subaru Outback. So. I decided this weekend to take some time and head out to one of my favorite places, which is uh, which is a place in the Sierra Ancha mountain range. The mountain range is on the eastern shore of Roosevelt Lake in Arizona. And once you get around the east side of the lake, there is a dirt road. And you take that road about 20 to 25 miles um, through some streams, uh, some pretty narrow Jeep trail switchbacks, and eventually you find your way back to this absolutely gorgeous canyon and there is a fantastic camp spot here that I really enjoy it's um, in a grove of beautiful old growth oak trees there's a year-round stream that runs through here it's just a beautiful place and there's some absolutely extraordinary hiking here that not a lot of people know about and not a lot of people have vehicles to be able to get back here to even access but it's just absolutely an extraordinary place. And so I decided to come out this way. I'm shooting photography for the magazine. And I offered to send them some unique photographs that haven't been seen anywhere else. 
and they asked me to write a few stories about my experiences over the last 27 years of living in Arizona and exploring a lot of the backcountry, and now, of course, with my Subaru Outback. So that's why I'm out here. I've shot a couple of great photographs for them, and just going to be out here and enjoy the wilderness, enjoy my Subaru, and I'm um, out here alone with my dog. Uh, it's just an extraordinary place. It's very far off the beaten path. Very few people come up here. The ones that do are hiking up into the mountains to experience these absolutely beautiful, very spiritual places. Good morning. So we're upstairs inside the rooftop tent above the Subaru. And as you can see, it's pretty roomy in here. This sleeps about four people. I've got a queen size air mattress inflated up here. However, I decided not to sleep underneath the covers that are on the air mattress and instead sleeping inside my zero degree sleeping bag because it is still fairly cold. Uh, we are in the desert, but it's also still winter and I'm back in a canyon and um, it can tend to get fairly chilly, so I'm sleeping in this zero degree ultralight go light sleeping bag, and then inside of it, I've got this silk liner, which actually lowers the temperature by about 10 degrees. So this is toasty warm. The reason I have this jacket on is because I decided I wanted to sleep with my upper body outside of the sleeping bag. And being kind of cold, I I uh, wanted to keep my arms warm, so this always helps. And I keep a hat on my head. No matter when I camp, I'm always sleeping with a hat on my head because that's where most of the heat leaves your body. So in order to stay warm, you keep a hat on your head, and you'll almost always sleep through the night unless you have some aches and pains. Well, today I think we'll get up and uh, do a little bit of hiking up into the canyon, shoot a little photography, and then... Um, then pack up and take a few pictures for uh, Subaru of Russia uh, for their expose. So that's our morning, and uh, we'll get up right now and make some breakfast. Okay, so before I get up and out of bed, I thought I'd talk for a second about what I wear to sleep. Because what you wear to bed is actually very important, because if you get a good night's sleep when you're camping, you wake up and have a good day, and uh, you want to go camping again next weekend or the weekend after that. So. Sometimes when I'm sleeping in my cocoon sleeping bag, which I really don't like to be confined in, um, I sleep in a pretty nice little system that I've put together that actually helps me a lot to stay warm and to be able to be comfortable and sleep through the night. I cannot stand sleeping in uh, covers and having my, my pajama bottoms twisting up on my legs or my pajama bottoms pulling up on my legs or something like that. And I certainly don't like always to have to keep my upper body inside the sleeping bag. Sometimes I want my arms outside. And, and if you have your arms outside and it's cool out like it is right now, we are winter camping in the desert. I like to have something on my arms that keeps me nice and warm. So um, as you saw a little bit ago, I was talking, um, I had the down jacket on. I don't always sleep with that on, but um, it was extra cold last night. So I took my arms out of the sleeping bag and I had a jacket on to keep my arms warm. But for starters, uh, I generally sleep with these Nike stretch pants on, and um, they actually keep me very, very warm. And what I love about them is that they stay nice and tight to my legs, and when you're inside the mummy sleeping bag, which doesn't have much room for your legs to begin with, when I roll over and move around, they don't slide up on my legs, they don't twist on my legs, and they're just really, really comfortable. And then I sleep in also this Go Light polyester underliner, which is very warm. And sometimes when I sleep with my arms outside the sleeping bag, 
I literally don't need to have anything on but but this and my arms will stay warm and uh, it also is a uh, relatively tight to my body and it doesn't twist up either and then I then I generally sleep in these two la uh, two layer right socks it's w-r-i-g-h-t-s-o-c-k I got these at REI uh, they're a great hiking sock, but I also like to sleep in these and keep my feet nice and warm. Sometimes I'll sleep without any socks on my feet because when you're in a down sleeping bag, you do stay pretty warm. But sometimes for extra warmth, I'll put these on my feet. And then, of course, I sleep with this hat on uh, because I don't want the heat to leave my body uh, in the middle of the night because that's exposed. And generally, to be honest, when I sleep with a hat on my head, uh, I, I sleep through the night because I don't have cold leaving my body. I always keep um, keep some water close by. I sleep up here with um, some LED lighting. Got my headlamp. I have some extra clothing up here. I've got a, a bit of weaponry up here. And then one of the things I like also is to always keep some some slip-on slippers up here because if I need to get up in the middle of the night just throw these on they have a rubber sole on them so they're indoor outdoor and they're perfect for camping I just keep them actually keep them up here even when I close the rooftop tent <laughs> 